international flag carrier Bahamas Air taking a major lashing in the area of its finances. First, Hurricane Dorian affecting two of its major markets over in Abaco and Grand Bahama, and then the global pandemic further worsened the impact on revenue streams. The 2020-2021 allocation to Bahamas Air is $19 million from $22.1 million the previous year. Tourism and Aviation Minister the Honorable Dionisio de Aguilar says the primary plan is to enhance the airline's revenue and reduce costs wherever possible. Bahamas Air was hardly spared the devastating effects of Hurricane Dorian. Its revenues were slashed by more than $8 million, particularly as Freeport and Abaco are key, highly profitable routes for the airline. We are all keenly aware of this global economic hardship caused by COVID-19 and especially how the airline industry has been brought to an unceremonious standstill. Since the end of March, Bahamas Air has seen its revenue drop to almost zero. Meantime, Minister de Aguilar says the only income the airline recently incurred was from those seven repatriation flights organized by the government. While revenue rose to some $92 million in 2019, de Aguilar said the airline anticipated seeing that figure soar to $100 million. But COVID-19 dashed those dreams. The aviation minister outlined savings where were realized with a change in its ticketing system. The transition from the previous passenger service system to the new system is expected to save Bahamas Air an estimated $3 million per year and will greatly improve the airline's operations and overall customer experience. In 2018 fiscal year, the last year that Bahamas Air used the old system, the airline paid $5.12 million with another $435,000 in ancillary costs, which will no longer be necessary under the new crane system. For similar activities and processes, Bahamas Air will instead incur costs of $2.5 million, representing savings of over 